Hey guys and welcome to another first impressions video. The video game series in which we look at a recently released game and I give you my first thoughts and impressions on it. Today we're looking at Overlord Escape from Nazarick, which is a side-scrolling Castlevania type um, game where you go through and you've got to defeat enemies, do some platforming and really work out what the hell is going on. As always, we will look through the options first and then we'll jump straight into the gameplay and I will give you my first thoughts and impressions. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump straight into it. All right, then we are in the options and already we're off to a bad start. So. First of all, there's no resolution settings and it feels like it's in the wrong resolution. It feels like it's defaulted to 720p, which has made everything blurry and a little bit blown up. It would be nice if we could change it to a 1080p and just make everything a bit clearer, a bit sharper. Um, it starts to give you a bit of a headache after a while. Secondly, it doesn't seem to want to switch seamlessly between keyboard and mouse and controller. And if you hit the control, uh, the keyboard before or after the, the, the whole starting up thing, then you won't be able to use your controller at all. So you'll have to exit the game and then come back in. I don't know if this is a bug, but I couldn't get my controller working just now so i had to restart the game completely there are no other graphical settings at all the controls are rebindable on both key keyboard and controller which is nice um your sound settings are they're not fully done which is good the sounds aren't too bad there's no voice acting or anything in this even though there is a voice option here i've heard no voice acting whatsoever um You've got your language settings, credit, license, and that is it. Um, it would be nice if there was more options. Honestly, the, the lack of options is a problem, especially with this resolution. It is genuinely giving me a headache. So let's jump into the game and see what the gameplay is like, shall we? All right, here we are then. We are in the game. You play as um, this character here. You can unlock magic, uh, which will give you new abilities and some elemental resistance. You collect mana as you go through the game. You can jump and you can do a high jump as well. And you will have enemies to face. Now, full disclosure, this is on easy mode, just so that I could get a feel for the game and what it is and what it's about. You have different areas that you need to sort of traverse in order to get bonuses and buffs and other cool things. Um, and you basically got to sort of work your way around this world and to see what there is available to you. There are different enemy types, although I don't know whether it's because it's uneasy, but I've only actually found two different enemy types so far. Um, and again, uneasy it is very, very easy indeed. Now, when you reset your health or when you save and then load back in again, all the enemies will respawn. But whilst you are playing the game, they won't, or at least they haven't for me. It's not a bad design, um, and again on easy you have a lot of health to work with, the enemies don't do a lot of damage. Combat wise, it's not great, um, you've literally got a stabby stabby, and then you can also summon your elemental power um, to do a external or a long range attack. So it's pretty limited in that regard. I must admit I do like the shadow effect that you get, um, I like the way that you, you see where you've been and where you go as you jump around. It's a really cool effect. I just wish it was a bit clearer, like I said at the start. Um, some better, um, just better clarity, better sharpness for everything would be nice. Um, I apparently need a different magic for that. So there are different gates around that will lock you out from progressing and you will need to you'll need to get the right elemental magic for that. You will be spending most of your time running around. It's just easier that way. Um, and the story is a bit, it's a bit cliched. It's a bit, you know, it's not all over the place. It makes sense. It's your classic, oh look, I'm really powerful. I go against the Dark Lord and I die. And now I've got to fight to regain my memories and all my abilities. And that's really a lot. I don't quite know why I have the ability to jump up those lanterns. I don't know if there's something that's going to appear later on, but it is always worth exploring. 
and there you have it that that's the game you run through you've got save points you can equip new gear um you can change your sub weapon and it will tell you what you get although interestingly enough it doesn't seem to change your main weapon these are sub weapons i've not really used them yet um like your big hammer is a lot slower and honestly you're going to be better off using your your short dagger for now so there you go this is escape from nazarek let me know what you think in the comments down below let me know if you would probably put this on a harder setting just to make it a bit more challenging let me know what you like with the jump puzzles because i personally am horrendous with them it's where i'm stuck right now where you've got to jump across certain areas in order to get through and i just keep landing on the thing and, and dying it's it's not ideal but it's pretty fun like it's pretty basic but at the same time pretty fun and i can see it being fairly fun for certain people especially if you up the difficulty so there you are guys let me know in those comments down below what you think and i shall see you all next time ciao ciao